Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about performing a format of a hard drive in Windows 10 using FAT32. Despite the fact that FAT32 is so versatile, Windows 10 does not allow you to format drives using FAT32. This may seem a little odd, however, there is a sound reasoning behind the decision. Since the FAT32 file system is so old, there are two significant limitations. The first is that the FAT32 file architecture cannot be used on drives larger than 16 terabyte. Admittedly, this isn't a huge issue for most people. However, the second drawback of FAT32 can be a bigger headache. FAT32 cannot handle individual files over 4 gigabytes in size. So to begin this process, we're going to go into our disk management by way of computer management. So again, at the search bar next to my start button, I'm going to type in computer. And from the results, I'm going to launch computer management. And once I'm up inside of computer management, let's scroll on down to the left windows pane and let's launch disk management. Now I have a new volume that I've converted to NTFS. I now want to delete that volume and I want to format it using FAT32. So this is the easiest way to do that. So I'm just going to right click into the allocated space for that volume that is currently formatted using NTFS and I'm going to select the format option. Here I'm just going to pull down the window for the file system and I'm going to select FAT32 and I'm going to leave the allocation unit size as is and I'm going to perform a quick format. And it tells me that formatting this volume will erase all data on it. Back up any data you must keep before formatting. Do you want to continue? I'll say OK. And there it is. It's now formatted FAT32. And that's how easy and quick it is to format your hard drive from NTFS to FAT32. Now the caveat is that you must remember the difference between convert and format. When you convert a drive over to a different file system, you save the data. When you format a file type or a hard drive over to a different file system, you lose the data. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about formatting a volume using FAT32. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the information that was presented to you in this short video presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.